If you are a Canadian investor looking to get involved in United States investing, utilizing Airbnb, VRBO, all the other short-term rental property uh, programs that are out there, if you're trying to do that passively, efficiently, again, all the way from Canada here into the U.S., this show is for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help investors from all over the world accomplish their real estate goals. Today... Today, we're working with my man, Tipu. Tipu, brother, you are a global dude, bro. You get around, okay? You are from Pakistan. You have lived in Pakistan your whole life, and you are now currently in the process of moving from Pakistan to Canada, and you want to get involved in short-term investing in the United States, more specifically in Cleveland, right? So we got Pakistan, Canada, Cleveland, Ohio, right? You get around, brother, but that's cool because that's what I can do, right? We help investors like you do this type of stuff, right? We help you guys get involved in investing. We handle all the on-the-ground stuff, right? So the fact that uh, you're in between Canada and Pakistan, all good, brother. The property's in Cleveland. The boots on the ground are in Cleveland. And now I'm going to go into the details of exactly how a Canadian or Pakistanian investor like yourself should structure the deal here in Cleveland. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's get into exactly how to structure this short-term rental deal, let's show y'all how this is going to play out. This is a super friggin' nice property, man. All right, look at this thing. This is less than 20 years old, okay? I specifically, I wrote it in my notes here. This thing was built, it's a little bit more than 20 years old. Built in 2000, right? So I guess that makes it 21 uh, years old as I speak to you today. In the Cleveland market, 21 years old, folks. That's freaking brand new. We deal with a lot of housing stock here that is usually like 1920s build, right? So this thing is freaking brand spanking new. Now, doesn't really need anything, right? I believe this is totally turnkey, ready to rock and roll, okay? If you look at everything, it's quite nice, right? It, it, this is beautiful. This is what people want. Now, if you want to get nitpicky, right, we're looking at the listing agent's photos, and everything looks pretty decent, but I'm guesstimating that this carpet is a little bit older. And from the photos, right, from, like, everything I'm seeing, the listing agent, they take the photos, you know, but the goal is to make it look as good as humanly possible. So all the, all the carpet looks good, usable, uh, decent from the photos. But it's very possible when we actually get up close and personal, the carpet is not the greatest. So, like, other than that, though, I can't see anything we would need to do to this, right? It's pretty much plug and play. So there might be a need for some new carpet in here. But other than that, I think it's fine. And here's the basement. I don't think there's any issues in the basement. And this is very nice. It's cool. They got the little wet bar. But, you know, for short-term rentals, since we don't have a lot of bedrooms in this particular house, Having a big space in the basement's great. We could sleep a ton of people down there, right? Because when we're doing Airbnb, VRBO, all that stuff, the more people we could sleep, okay, the higher our monthly or our nightly rent is going to go, right? So we want to be able to sleep as many people as possible. But the real thing that is going to drive the pricing, the returns, everything on this property – the, the, the fact that we're going to make a lot of money, what's really going to drive guests to this and have guests pay a premium price for this property is the location, right? This is friggin' Ohio City, okay, right in the center of Ohio City. And this is like a whole brand new development. Again, 
It's like 20 years old, right? But as a Cleveland guy, that's brand new to me, right? I don't know. Investors watching this from other places might consider 20 years old not that new. But if you're in Cleveland, if it ain't 100 years old, it's new. But if you look at this thing, right, all these beautiful little houses, right, all brand new, right, completely brand new development, and you are in the friggin' heart of Ohio City, okay? Ohio City is where you want to be, folks. Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square, Edgewater. When people talk about the resurgence of Cleveland, when people talk about gentrification in Cleveland, these are the neighborhoods they're talking about, right? This is where all the stuff is happening, right? They offer tax abatements in these neighborhoods. They're 15-year tax abatements. So we do have to pay taxes on this particular property now, but that's why you see so many new developments in those areas. That's why those areas have gentrified. That's why those are the happening areas because people were building new homes in these neighborhoods because they want to get the tax abatement, right? The government is pushing money into these neighborhoods and now they're incredibly high redesirable. And that's why we're going to make a boatload of money on this for you, right? Now it's two bed, two bath, okay? And we should be able to bring in $375 a night in rent, right? So that would be, as you see on the screen there, $11,625 in rent a month or $139,500 for the year. But... But, 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 but you don't get to keep all that, right? In Cleveland, in the Cuyahoga County area, I've ran the data through Airbnb. Airbnb's website is giving us through all of their data, right? There's no way for me to give you better data than to actually go to the biggest player in the world in regards to their data. They have more data than I could ever accumulate myself, right? They're saying there's a 38% vacancy, right? So 62% occupancy, meaning... We're not really going to make 11625 In reality, after we factor in the vacancy loss and all the other fixed and variable expenses needed to operate this sucker, your profit should be approximately $4,200 a month. And that involves you doing nothing. My team, Holton Wise, we're here. We're in Cleveland. We will do it all, right? We handle everything on your behalf. And after that, you'll still passively make, on average, $4,200 a month. Of course, you're going to make more in the warm months. You're going to make less in the winter, right? People are not as interested in traveling to Cleveland in February as they are in July. However, when people do travel to Cleveland, this is where they want to travel, right? They want to be in Ohio City because you're right there. You are right downtown. The Q, the Browns, the Rock Hall. It is all right there, Lake Erie. It's all right there for you. So because of that, I believe we'll make approximately $50,461 a year. Now, as far as the price goes, they listed at $285. I think it's going to have a lot of people interested, but I want to try to pick it up for you at $270. And then we're, of course, going to need to furnish it, $25,000 in furnishings. That would be a total investment of $295. Now, again, as I talked, that carpet... I don't know. Maybe we got to do the carpet, spend a few grand on carpet. Maybe we don't. Hard to tell from the pictures, right? The pictures, it looks pretty good. But again, that's the listing agent's job. We'll know more when we actually get a home inspector in there to totally look at everything. Uh, but that may be something we need to do. But assuming we don't need to do it, our all-in price here is two ninety-five. We're going to furnish it, and we're going to stack that basement with beds, right? We only have two beds in this property, but we're not doing a long-term rental. We're doing a short-term rental, so that basement, man, we could sleep as many as we want, right? The, the pricing, the value that you're going to get on these short-term rental uh, programs, it's not necessarily by bedroom count. It's by number of guests you could sleep, okay? So with all that said, our total investment of two ninety-five. dollars you should only need about 92 and a half into this deal, right? That's going to be 67 and a half for your down payment. Another 25K up front for your furniture, right? Ain't no mortgage lender going to loan you a bunch of furniture, right? That should result in a 44% cash on cash return or a 17.1 cap rate. And you are in an A grade neighborhood in Cleveland with basically brand new housing stock because if it ain't 100 years old in Cleveland, it's basically brand new. This is as new and good as it gets. And I know Cleveland is not a spec market, right? Cleveland's a cash flow market, but this checks all the cash flow boxes. But folks, if you're going to invest in the Cleveland area for cash flow, you might as well invest in a place where the government 
and big business, big corporations has a concerted effort to invest their money because that's your best shot at hopping on the appreciation train, right? New properties that they're still building in these neighborhoods, when people are given those tax abatements, if this was a brand new build 20 years uh, newer, right, built today with the tax abatement, this would sell for almost four hundred thousand dollars think about that a lot of money to be made in the short-term game in ohio city let me know what you want to do thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment